Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hydraneer. In the last episode we moved our machines underground and started a setup of bringing all the ore up using a system of conveyor belts. And today we are going to build the processing center that all of the ore will uh, go through. So as you see here I've got my pipe set up, I've got my floor. I decided to do all this off camera because I, I don't know that it was very interesting. I just spent a lot of time going back and forth from bridge pour using our truck and our cart to carry everything over um and so yeah it was just a lot of back and forth so i decided i'll just do that off camera nobody needs to but as far as the actual building of the processing center i figured that might be interesting enough for everybody uh to see so we're gonna do that today as you can see here um the machine is working as per usual as uh expected and uh, everything is going well. So yeah, so let's, uh, let's get back in real mode. This machine has been running since uh, since I just the last time you saw uh, saw us, and um, it was running during the entire time while I was building all this stuff. So I'm very excited to see how much we got in there. But first, let's uh, let's just put this all together because uh, I'm excited to see it fully. Uh, fully fleshed out. Okay, so we're just missing two conveyor belts. Uh, I'm gonna go pick those up real fast. Okay, here we are. We got our conveyor belt, so I'm gonna go put that one in there. Um, okay, so before we continue on, let's get the rest of our workshop set up. So we're gonna put, we have these uh, cauldrons, which work just like, just like these. You know, the ore drops in there and it smelts. But uh, let's grab this piece of iron. But instead of having to fill up the cauldron, drop it onto the, the furnace and everything. It just, oh, there you go. See, it just smells automatically. And then I click that and I can pour a bar. Uh, and these can fill uh, infinitely, I believe infinitely. And yeah, so these are going to be huge, huge in our process. It's also going to save us a lot of frame rate. The more items you have in the world, uh, you know, the worse off your game is going to get. Oh no, I bought one cauldron too few. Did I? No, I bought two cauldrons too few. Okay, that's fine. We'll just take this one. We'll save that for later. All right, so we got the main three that is important are iron, gold, and shards. Um, the clautium, the clautium and the core stone. Oops, clautium and the core stone. Um, we don't need smelted right away. Let's tap these down before we do that again. Now time for the gems. And each one of these gems will have its own dedicated its own dedicated gem compressor. Uh, because the gem compressor can only do one gem at a time, so having all the gems fall into one is kind of useless. So we're going to have them fall all into that. Actually, that might, I might want that elsewhere, but we'll deal with that in a second. All right, let's set up what each of these will separate out. So this one is going to be Cloudium. And see, that's why I liked separating these ores at the beginning when I got them and just keep them somewhere. I think I got a core stone ore over there too, but because we need at least one to prime the uh, sorter. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Terrible, I'm terrible at platforming. Green goes there. We'll do Sapphire 
before it. I swear. Oh, here's a cauldron. Okay. I'm still one cauldron short, but that's okay. Thankfully, we, we got an onyx, so we can separate those as well. I swear. I swear. Uh, now we need an iron. Just grab that one. Okay, so we got iron. Uh, oh, shard. We need a shard. There we go. All right, so we got everything sorted. Perfect. Put that there. Oh. We might need to move it one back. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, okay, well. Okay, let's move all of this back. Uh, where's our hammer? I'm gonna stay hungry. I like how in this whole in this whole island we uh, we're the only ones who can mine or farm or any of that stuff this everyone's set up for us but i bet it was too all right so we were one conveyor short it cost 220 coin we have 221. keep the change it's a tip that's for you all right i'll see you soon you're gonna need more conveyors Always gonna need more conveyors. Hey, how you doing? They up to you too. It's in the enjoying the view. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry, I'm I'm going this way too. Have your time. Enjoy yourself. Got everything we need now. And you might have been like, hey Legion, don't you have a conveyor belt over there? What is that going on? Well, that conveyor belt is set for this spot right here. Um, I didn't want to attach it and let all the all the ore go up before I had a chance to set up everything. So that is why that happened. So let's just move it back one and I'll see you when I'm done. goes to the right and that goes there perfect okay I still am one cauldron short put this cauldron once I get it it will go right there that will collect the core stone and turn it into a smeltable but we're gonna just let it do the cloud TM for now um, we will put this bucket though catch any that we might we might make there we are let's get our workshop put together
Okay, we'll move those over. Yeah, I think I want this crucible just slightly closer. Yeah, I guess I could just do it like that. I wanted something different right there, but I mean, that does work, so I guess we'll do that. Yeah, I wanted a different... Uh, you know what? No. What the hell? Oh. All right, nail that down, nail that down. That's all good. And we will put this here for now, but. Have it like that to separate it. I want, I just, I have a, I like a different aesthetic for my uh, smelter. But it's okay. Collect some of this random ore that's just around and these cut sapphires. Anything else here? My drill has been broken for uh, some time now, but uh, I just thought that uh, it's okay. We'll just let it be broken. We already have a bunch of materials already, so we're not hurting for resources. And we will turn it back on momentarily once we uh once we get everything set up. And this cloutium oh <laughs> should make a safety hatch. Um yeah, so this cloutium bar we're just gonna drop in the cloutium section. There we go. I think it might be time. Pick this up and uh, completely destroy our frame rate. There we go. And we're gonna just carefully drop it back down. Oof, that's real time, everybody. That is uh, exactly how long it took. Hello, frame rate. My dear friend. Um, and we'll keep that one hooked up. I, we're probably never going to need to use the hand sorter again, but we'll keep that one plugged in. Come on. And that one will just tap into the floor. Okay, let's uh, get these plopped in. Get that conveyor belt on, and we're going to finish it off with this conveyor belt. And now, as you can see, we have an undisturbed line all the way from the bottom to our sorting area. So... First off, let's go ahead and pick this back up, and I'll see you when we're done with that. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. All we are going to try to do is make it to that conveyor belt in the corner, and we're going to try to dump this on. Once again, this is the product of probably about 45 minutes 
uh, to an hour of our drill going. Just one single tier one drill. But it is at the bottom. Okay, there we are. Um, first things first, let's save. I mean, this very well could crash our game, so uh, let's, let's deal with this as best we can. Ready? Three, two, one. Wish us luck. Oh, the explosion. Oh, they all get straightened out. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun, everybody. Yeah, so that's a lot of ore all at once. But it's going to provide us with enough money to make, or with enough resources to make a very profitable necklace. And we will be rich again. So there we go, the iron is being separated. And it falls gracefully. Oh, look at that, that's so satisfying. Uh, and then the gold follows suit. And the shards, which will help our frame rate a lot. Always smelting shards, just getting rid of them entirely is going to be great. Oh, some Cloutium. Nice, nice. Uh, and I guess no core stones. The rest of it just happens to be gems. But check this out. Those gems will go straight into the compactor, or compressor. And uh, all we have to do is reach in and grab the one gem out. And then for our contracts, we're going to have contracts where people are going to require specific weights and things like that, specific sizes of both gems and ingots, but uh, we can always cut those using a saw or a gem chisel. So here comes the rubies. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Let's just see how much that ruby became. 686. And now I've found that emeralds uh, seem to be worth more of the of the previous three. Onyx are the rare, relatively newer resource. Come on, there we go. Oop. Um, so they're actually worth the most, but out of all of them, yep, 1,700. Come on, Onyx. There we go, let's see. I think it was only two Onyx that went in there, two or three. But yeah, Whew, look at that. All right, so now once we have this machine going, we are gonna be really flying here. Let's see. So out of that bucket, we made 774 pounds worth of iron. Amazing. Let's just, let's keep this separated for now because we're gonna use that. Let's get this gold, which is worth a whopping 10,000. If we were to put the iron on there as well, how much would that be? 19,000. That's pretty good. But I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to drop that there. Oh, you know what? Let's go turn our machine on. Fix. There we go. So now the process has started again, and uh, it will just chunk up some dirt. Get it processed, it's going to go through here and it'll be organized and all I have to do is pour the bar when I want. Loving it. Just move this one over a little bit. There we go. All right, this is how I want it set up because I want to be able to weigh a bar here and then drop it in here if I need to to sort it out. But we'll we'll I'll explain all that later once we start making bars. Put that there. 
I like having a place where I can just stand and watch all my work. Drop that there. Let's see what's our most expensive gem. So that's 1700. That's 1000. Emerald's most expensive. We're going to go ahead and take that. Put that there. Gonna make a necklace, which means we're gonna saw that bar in half. And drop it there. And, oh, where's my hammer? Oh no, don't cool off, don't cool off. Ooh, there we go. And then this is 14 grand. That is perfect. That'll get us everything we need to keep going. Okay, so this is this is going. We're doing good. We have absolutely no money because we spent it all and even our, our last cent, but that's okay. We can also add these to the mix. Okay, let's go into town and spend some hard-earned money. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen thousand. Excuse me. Fourteen thousand. Oh, she doesn't... Oh, she does have one thing I want. Which is this. This guy has... A quest that we could potentially do. We're gonna take it. Uh, this is gonna be our first quest, our first uh, job that we've gotten. No scram for you. I don't want to give you food. Nope. No. Nope. No tomato soup. You guys just. You guys need to have better missions for me, and then I'll do them. This is the one that I want. I had to come all the way up to Ice Helm for it. Okay, we're back. So now we have final cauldron that we need. There we go. And, uh... Yep, so we got all the cauldrons that we need. So now every single of one of the smeltable ores will smelt uh, and that's going to keep our object count low which is good get rid of that put it there for now and replace it with that yeah look at that uh, doesn't that look cool I just I just really like I really like the look of that, so especially when paired with these, because it's like almost like you built you built that. And then lastly, let's see, where do we want our tools? I want everything kind of in a nice square little radius so I could just stand here and get everything I need. Uh that that oh perfect oh we forgot to pick up the gem chisel we'll pick that up next uh next shopping trip which is probably going to be now this uh machine is now fully functional uh we are it will just constantly be making us money as long as uh the machine is working and uh we are going to attempt an auto repair machine next that way we can keep our machines running at all times and never have to worry about them breaking down. Did you know that you can take one of your carts, kind of jump on the edge of your truck like that, let go, and because of the collision physics, it basically becomes a trailer. Fun tip.
All right, so here we are at Hobson's Power Works. 20, open 24 seven. And we are going to start getting ourselves some logic and we are going to make an auto repair machine. So we've got, how much? We've got 12,000. That might be enough. There we go. 12,222, 12,823. That is great. Hopefully we can afford our water filters right away, but if not, that's okay. We can always spend or create a little stuff, create some wealth. Oh, did I just, did I really, did I really just drop my money in this place? Oh, that was stupid. I can't believe I lost my money in my cart like that. So now what we are going to do is we are going to set up what is known as an auto repair machine. So I'm going to show you how the first one gets set up and then we will uh, we'll do the rest of it and I'll show you the, the finished product. And so that logic reader is going to tell it's going to spit out the data from this and that's going to tell us how much how what the durability of that will be. So here is the reason why we're building that whole contraption in the first place, is this water filter hook increases the water quality and the better quality water, the less likely your machine is to break down. If you get five of these on, a, on your pipe, uh, you never have to worry about your machine breaking down. All you have to do is worry about these things breaking down. And these things break down uh, a lot slower than your machine does, so that's 207. So here we have a little bit more complicated than necessary like you don't need all these twists and turns i you know just that ended up just being the way that it it worked out and yeah you know i don't mind it i don't mind it this way but you could just do a straight pipe up a straight pipe up and then just have this all scooted out a little bit more but i didn't really feel like doing it so here is the water filter pipe so they hook onto pipes like that and you can switch them around on each side there's no point in putting more than one of these on a pipe because only one of them works, but if you have more than one, uh, more than one can break down. And when these break down, it stops the production. So as you see here, that number is 100, and that's because this is putting out 100%. Well, it's now 99, so let's turn that off for a second. So this is now putting out 100%, um, or this is at 100% durability, 99% durability. And then what we do here, so we plop in, I'm gonna say five, enter. So now this number is put, putting out five. So once, and what we have here is an equal sign uh, logic thing. So that means that once side B and side A are equal to each other, meaning that this reads five because it has 5% durability left. Um, once those equal each other, it'll send out a signal which will go down here and it'll pop in uh, a repair kit and then fix this thing automatically. We don't have to do anything. Let's go down here real fast. Go ahead and repair that. We'll repair that as well. So those are both at 100%. Um, my machine was broken, so it had stopped producing money. But so yeah, so we only have uh, a tool bag with three spanners in it, so it's only gonna give three when we drop in the spanners here, but each tool bag contains five and we can fill this up to 20. And so all we all we really need to do is just every now and then just buy a bunch of uh, tool bags and fill fill these things and we will have a perpetually going mining setup. And that is the goal. So let's nail these all down and if you if you want to see how this is laid out, you can pause the, the screen here. 
there are better ways of laying this out. Uh, I'm just going to let you know that now. Uh, this is not by far uh, not the most simple of designs, um, but it's just it's working for me right now, and that's kind of all I care about. So I'm going to finish it out, put all five of the pieces together, um, and then I will be back and I'll show you what we built. Okay, we need to make a little bit more money. Let's go ahead and just pour ourselves some ingots. It's worth 3,000, not bad. This is worth another 3,000, also not bad. Let's just grab, we did that one last time, so let's grab a sapphire, which is worth 669, also not bad. Eight thousand. That'll do us good. Do you see how I like having all my spots uh, together? Everything's right where I need it. All right, so I went ahead and replicated that same design five times over. Um, I did have to shift it down one block and uh, move the valve control over to this side, but it does still work as well as that working as well. Um, as you can see here, I had my machine running so that way I could produce a little bit of ore. And just in the time that it took me to build this thing, uh, this first one dropped down to 24%, this one to 89 and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, just having the water on will will ruin these pipes, even if nothing's going on, even if your machines are all turned off and everything. So now what we do with this is we take our tool bag, and we come over here and we just kind of push it in there and that put five spanners in there. We're getting uh, some terrible frame drops right now. So I apologize for any jerkiness. Um, you know, I, don't think that I built a, a, a mine that's too big, so I'm not sure why it's having such a problem right now. Maybe I have too many items scattered about, so I'll probably clear that up. But yeah, once again, apologize for any jerkiness. That's just sometimes it happens with this game. Once again, the April 5th update will come with huge quality performance uh, improvements. So I think uh, we should be fine as long as we don't explode. 10. Oh, that one went into that side, which is fine. Yeah, so you just buy a bunch of these tool bags and you fill each one of them up to 20. See, that one only took 20. We still have uh, three spanners in there. So you just bring them on over. There is a way that you can set this up. Uh, so those holes are facing uh, either upwards or downwards, I'm not sure. But there's a way that you can set this up where all you have to do is drag a cart uh, across them and they will fill. Uh, I've never successfully created that design, but I do know that it is capable. So let's change this to seven. Oops, not 57, back seven. Let me press green key. All right, so as we see here, that's marked as seven. So now this, this first filter is about to go out. See, we're already at eight now. So I just wanna show you how this whole thing works. And so now I filled it with spanners. I don't need to touch it at all. I can go about my business playing this game. I can go 
AFK and, you know, do other things in life. Oh, there you go. You see? And now it is to 100%. It used one of those uh, repair kits or uh, tool bags and it brought it to that and now each one of these works independently so um, you know when when one of them goes down it's not going to repair all of them and that's uh, it's very important uh, that's why you have to have this set up in a, a semi particular way if you don't put it together right it the spanner hurlers will just send them over and over and over again regardless of whether or not uh, they need to. So you can waste a lot of tool bags that way if you don't set it up. Um, I definitely recommend uh, checking around, seeing uh, different kind of designs for this, uh, and kind of play around and see what works best for you. But yeah, that is the auto repair machine. So it looks like we've got a lot going on in there. i um, very excited. We'll be, making, uh, we'll be making some jewelry soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll be excited. We also have our very first mission or quest or job, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, that is going to start coming a lot more. We're going to just be picking them up around. For some reason, everyone wants soup. Um, but I don't plan on making a food farm in here. Not just yet, anyway. So, I'm going to have to wait on that. I don't know if there's a way to reset people's jobs, but we shall see. So yeah, that was uh, that was quite a productive episode. You know, we've got our we got our workshop and processing center uh, created. It's all good. We got our auto repair machine made, and so now we can uh, we can have things going even if we're not around, uh, even if we're away from the keyboard or anything like that. Uh, our machines will run, and those twenty those twenty. Uh, tool bags in there last quite a long time even on the the most damaged pieces so we are going to get rid of a lot of the crap that we don't need that's just littering our base right now um, and hopefully that will help with the frame rate uh, but if not you know the the update is coming soon and hopefully that will take care of all these problems and I think in the next episode we are going to work on expanding our mining operations and really get this thing just going at, at a, a fast pace. And these are only tier one drills. And so once we move to our next plot and start our tier two farm, oh, it's gonna get crazy. But anyways, that is where I'm gonna leave today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward for more Hydroneer. If you did, please consider giving me a like, drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.